Hi everyone, I'm Cindy Cole and for today's Sunday School lesson we are going to talk about traditions and um, one tradition that we had in our family was that we would make uh, special food for special meals like at Thanksgiving or Christmas, birthdays, things like that and one special food that we had, if you can see this, is um, dumplings and this was a, a recipe that was passed down from my grandparents, my great-grandparents um, they, we were German, are German, and um, this was something that we would make and eat and you um, put them in like stews or soup. It's like um, eggs and flour and you plop them in there and they cook and then you eat it with the meat. So that was a tradition that we had that we would use quite a bit. And in the story that Pastor Dean told you about today was the Passover. And there was a tr tradition that the Jewish people still... Um, do from the Passover and that is the meal that they had to remember them getting to leave Egypt and one that was the Seder meal and it was the Passover Seder meal and here is a picture of it um, I found on the internet this is a coloring one and if you kids want to look it up and you might find some other things to show you what it is but each of the things on the plate represent something that to remind them of their heritage and how they were set free by God out of Egypt and there's a hard-boiled egg there's a shank of a lamb um, there are some different vegetables and these vegetables are like horseradish and some bitter root and it's kind of it tastes like bleh, and it was to remind them of the all the suffering and the pain that they went through and how they came out in pretty well in the end and um, there's also called a cheriset and that is like a um, mixed up figs and um, dates something that we probably don't eat a lot of and now when they do it um, they usually use apples and some other things so this is a tradition that helps the Jewish people to remember the Passover and what the uh, everything that the Lord has given them and so what you could do is talk to your parents your grandparents your aunts uncles who's ever in your house and ask them about some traditions and maybe you could make something special or you know that you have made something special like on a holiday a birthday a wedding